What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul. Welcome to a very special video. These types of videos don't normally come out on Fridays. This one is. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to call this yet. The tentative name is Evan Fallout Games That Almost Existed. Number 7. Prior to the release of Fallout Shelter, Bethesda had plans for an iPhone version of Fallout 3. To say that the game was in its infancy is an understatement. Basically, there were just some discussions about it, and that's pretty much it. Back in June 2009, Todd Howard, the conductor of the Fallout 4 hype train and the executive producer at Bethesda Game Studio, said the following about a potential Fallout game on iOS. Quote, I think that the world of Fallout is unique enough that it could work on any platform. I think some of the things that we do like VATS, I think could translate to any platform, particularly the iPhone. We've looked into those things, we just haven't found the thing that supports the brand well. I wouldn't be surprised if it does happen one day. Number 6. Before the Fallout 3 that we all know and love came to be, Fallout's old developer, Black Isle Studios, began working on their version of Fallout 3. It was to use the same engine as Fallout 2 due to being developed by the same developer. Their version of Fallout 3 was known as Fallout 3 Van Buren. Black Isle Studios had plans to include a dual combat system in the game that allowed for the player to choose real-time, like in Fallout 3 or Fallout Tactics, or turn-based combat like Fallout 1 or Fallout 2. The game would have begun with a player in a prison cell. Because of this, the player was given a choice. The prisoner could be an innocent that was imprisoned because of some misunderstanding, or they could choose to be a criminal and take bonus traits that would bolster some of their skills. The player would awaken in a prison cell, but not the one that they remembered falling asleep in. Suddenly, the floor rocks violently from an explosion and the player is knocked unconscious. When they awake, they find their cell door open and a hole in the wall leading to the outside. Leaving the prison, the character is under attack by some unknown assailant. Deciding that discretion is the better part of valor, the player flees into the night to explore the new world. Number 5. You know what makes everything better? Adding extreme to it. That was the name of the cancelled squad-based first and third person tactical game for the Xbox and PlayStation 2. Seriously, it was just called Fallout Extreme. It was using the Unreal Engine and was being developed by Interplay's 14 Degrees East Division. Its development only lasted a few months in the year 2000. Fallout Extreme was going to feature several multiplayer modes, such as Capture the Flag, Assault, and Squad Deathmatch. It is unclear when exactly the game was going to take place. According to the summary in a design document, quote, almost a century had passed, end quote, since the Great War. The Brotherhood of Steel and the concept art they appeared similar to the Midwestern branch from Fallout Tactics, the once silent organization has been expanding and seizing more and more territory under their control. Their area of influence stretches as far as Alaska, where the Brotherhood's new headquarters is now located. The Brotherhood's agenda, quote, leaves little room for the survival of radiation or FEV outbreak victims, end quote. Local humans are either drafted into the Brotherhood's ranks as cannon fodder or enslaved and mutants are outright eradicated. It is the Brotherhood that the player would oppose during the first half of the game. Number 4. The next game in this little list was scrapped by Interplay before it could even get past concept. Fallout Tactics 2 was the sequel to Fallout Tactics Brotherhood of Steel, not to be confused with the playable abomination known as Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. It was being developed by Micro Forte. The game took place in southeastern USA, as far as Florida, and the major conflict would have been between man and nature. The Brotherhood of Steel was also portrayed as even more militaristic and oppressive, and as Brotherhood of Steel in name only. The basic premise was that the gap had been irradiated, and thus the Garden of Eden it created was full of mutant plants and fungi. The mutant garden begins to spread fairly rapidly, preying upon animal life and using them as carriers or fertilizers to spread the fungal seed. The player basically gets tasked with discovering the source and finding a way to put an end to it. You had accelerated regrowth and nature reclaiming the wasteland, but because of the irradiated gek, it also wants to get rid of humans. Number 3. Once upon a time, there was a developer known as Gluten Creeper Games. This company worked on a pen and paper role-playing game based on the Fallout universe. The game's official name was Fallout Pen and Paper D20. It even had some official artwork as well as a player's guide. This shouldn't be surprising since Bethesda and Interplay threatened Gluten Creeper Games with legal action, forcing them to change the game into a post-apocalyptic RPG called Exodus. In June 2007, they finished switching the game from a Fallout game to Exodus. I would read the player's guide that was released, but it's long, like 6,000 words long. But here's a taste of what the player's guide has to offer. 
quote, If you were able to describe the world we live in to someone way back in the 21st century, they would have called it post-apocalyptic. While not entirely an accurate description, it gets the idea across. All of the great monuments, convenience stores, hell, convenience itself, and the entertainment technology of the 21st century are all gone. The buildings have been morphed into burned out husks, and the open land glows with the radiation. Any trips outside, and sometimes inside, the fortified walls of any larger remaining cities is always met with violence. The wasteland is overrun with criminals, red scorpions, and worse. Number 2. Very little is known about this next game. It was simply called Fallout. It was a top-down shooter for the original PlayStation. At one point, it was being developed by Interplay. According to Chris Taylor, the lead designer of the original Fallout, it was cancelled after about 3-4 to four months of pre-production and early prototyping. Number 1. Remember Fallout Brotherhood of Steel? Remember how great it was? Remember how everyone wanted a sequel? Yeah, me neither. Believe it or not, the game was almost complete when Interplay laid off most of their employees back in 2004. Not much is known about Fallout Brotherhood of Steel 2, however, it was to be released on the PlayStation 2 exclusively. The plot incorporated some elements from Van Buren, the cancelled Fallout 3 by Black Isle Studios, some things like Caesar's Legion, the Jackals, and the Nursery, as well as a mutated Gek from the cancelled Fallout Tactics 2. In March 2009, a design document for the game was leaked, which contains a lot of information about the game. This is what that document says is the overview of the game. Fallout Brotherhood of Steel 2 builds on the grand tradition of its predecessor. The original Fallout Brotherhood of Steel was basically a high-octane action RPG that took the Fallout universe to a whole new level. The sequel will also take this step beyond, adding new quests, new towns, new player characters, new weapons, you get the drift. Basically, you take everything that was fun about Fallout Brotherhood of Steel and crank it up to 11. This isn't to say that Fallout Brotherhood of Steel 2, or F-Boss 2 as we call it, is just a rehash of the first one. Most experiences for the player are getting a major overhaul. In fact, most of the quest structure and character structure is going back to what made the original Fallout fun. If you're interested in learning more about Fallout Brotherhood of Steel 2, I'll leave a link to that leaked document in the description of this video below the like button. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video about the 7 Fallout games that were cancelled, if that's the name. If you enjoyed this video or learned anything, leave a like. If you didn't like the video or you didn't learn anything, leave a dislike. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character, or any video like this. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.